Okay, I'm going to throw you a curveball here. And okay. since we're not going to talk about Quinn right off the bat, because right. you were named assistant general manager a month ago, and oh. now here we are, a new head coach is in town. What has the timeline been like from you ever since you took on this new role? Yeah, you know, I've, um, I've like found I have on my phone a lot. <laughs> Yeah, well. Like I used to go home and not talk on my phone ever. Like it's like I'm going home. It's family time. It's done. And now it's just like sorry. I, you know I don't have an office. I have an office. I'm never really in it. But like this right. is my office. I'm trying to navigate this phone world a little more. But um, it's good. You know, like I've really enjoyed it. Um, I feel like the way life is supposed to work is you find something you love and that you're at least kind of good at. And then you work really hard at it. Hopefully you learn some things. And then you, in the next chapter, the next half of life, you try to find ways to pass it on, right? So that someone else can take what you learned and, and, and do something bigger with it. And so I always thought I'd be in basketball in some way. Um, I didn't know it would be here you know, in the front office. Um, but I'm grateful, and I've really enjoyed it. And I, I think today was a, a good move for our organization. One of the things that Landry talked to me about was that when the initial conversations were happening about Quinn being the head coach, potential next head coach, he said, I don't know anything about Quinn. Kyle does. What did you tell him when he asked you those questions? I said that if our values are humility and collaboration and connection and innovation and development, then we have to take a really hard look at Quinn Snyder because I've gotten to play, I was in the NBA for, you know, I got to play for a lot of coaches. I got to see a lot of people work and I never, he always, um, I always respected his basketball mind so much, but also him as a person. He's like, he's, he's the full package to me. You see him up there, he's humble, um, but he's incredibly smart. Um, he, wants, he wants partners, he wants to collaborate. Uh, he loves this game. He loves basketball and people who lead with those postures, those are just the people you want to work with in life. And so, uh, yeah, when this all happened and it's like, okay, we're putting together a list, like he was the top of my list. And um, just because I've, I've watched him work and I've, he's helped me, right? Like in my time with him, when he was an assistant here, he was the coach that I worked with. And I felt like a lot of things that he taught me that year was a lot of things that, you know, those were seeds that got put into the ground in me that, you know, eventually, the, you know, the years that were coming was just that coming to life. And so, um, yeah, always appreciated his innovative mind and just his, uh, his humility and um, the way he leads. There were a lot of players here today who were listening and excited about a new head coach being introduced to this franchise. When you played for him, what did you take away as a player, not you in the front office now? Mm -hmm. um, he had something new for me every day. He had a new thought. The season's long. You play a lot of games. You shoot a lot of shots. It's a lot of practices, a lot of shoot arounds. And it's very easy to get stuck and just like do it again you know, rewind, play, rewind, play. And when you find people who um, can give you new ideas and challenge you in new ways consistently, um, you're attracted to those kinds of people because that means you're getting better. You're not staying the same, right? And I, he, um, that's how, that's just who he is, right? Like he's always trying to get a little bit better. Like he's got a, you know, we, we have had a development first mindset is what we have been saying the last, you know, the last year and his my his mantra was development always and then I'm like yeah development <laughs> first and always exactly um, and so it's just that's just the posture of how do we get better today um, and you can't just keep on working harder right? you got to have some new thoughts some new ideas and I've always appreciated his mind for that last question for me you said the word challenge clearly it would have been a challenge for anyone coming in here in the middle of the season to try to make a push towards the playoffs the roster is there the pieces are there why is Quinn Snyder the guy to potentially bring the Hawks to the playoffs once again? Well, I, I think um, I think that when you're going to go to the next level, there's a lot of ways to do it. Um, but I think when you have someone who you know is in your corner and that you can trust, um, there's like a freedom that comes from that as a player where it's just like, all right, let's go. Like, my guards are down, let's go after it. And I hope that that's how our group experiences him. Um, I, I'm hopeful that they will. I think that we do have a lot on our team. We have a lot of room for growth, We have, but we have a lot of talent. 
and we're, the hope is that you know some new ideas and, um, and a fresh voice that we can elevate our group and see what we have and then um, you know help us to know how we can keep on building.